Welcome back everyone to Stadiums of the World. Today we're in the desert touring Chase Field located in Phoenix, Arizona and home of the Arizona Diamondbacks baseball team. Even though it may be hot outside in the desert, don't worry, the roof's closed and we got AC inside and there's even a swimming pool. Don't forget every photo you see today was personally taken by me like all my videos. Don't forget to write in the comment section what you like about this stadium and what stadium you'd like me to do a video on next. And with that, let's start the tour. Chase Field opened up back in 1998 and currently has a capacity of 48,405, making it one of the largest stadiums in MLB. When this stadium originally opened, it was called Bank One Ballpark, and that's, that's kind of how I always think of it. And if you can see here, the state of Arizona was an awarded an expansion team for Major League Baseball in 1995, and this was the stadium for that new team when it opened. When most fans come to the ballpark, they'll enter from the west side, and when they do, they'll be greeted by this beautiful rotunda area. Most of the time when fans walk through this rotunda, you know, there's all sorts of people and they probably don't notice kind of the detail. And one thing they may miss is on the floor, they have this beautiful um, painting type thing of Arizona, you know, and it's it's not the Phoenix Diamondbacks, it's the Arizona Diamondbacks. So they have all sorts of things like this around kind of paying tribute to the state of Arizona. And if fans look up, they can see that there's all these different paintings from different parts of Arizona. So again, just trying to show that it's not just Phoenix, it's the Arizona Diamondbacks. This ballpark is located in Phoenix, Arizona, which is the hottest city of all of Major League Baseball. And with that, the most noticeable thing about this stadium is that it has a retractable roof and it's an enclosed stadium most of the time. Even though this stadium has a retractable roof and most of the time it's closed, it still has a lot of windows, which you can see here that lets in a lot of natural light. And also this was the first team in the United States to have a retractable roof with natural grass. With that being said though, they did remove the natural grass in 2019. So if you go look at it now, it has artificial turf. And just another view you can see here of those windows above. Since they removed the natural grass, the roof is almost always closed in the stadium now and rarely open. You may be thinking to yourself, that sounds terrible. I wanna be outside. But now that it's closed, it actually is a better fan experience because before they had to keep the roof open and it'd be really hot and they'd have to try to cool it down right before the game. So it actually makes things better for the fans to do it this way. Given where the stadium's at, located in the desert and the heat being a retractable roof, they've one thing I've always noticed is the mechanical ducting all over the stadium and you can clearly see it here in this photo. One of the favorite locations in the stadium for families is in the upper deck of left field, which you can see here, and it's called the Sandlot area. As you can see here, it's a terrace area that you can bring your family up to, walk around, and they have all sorts of stuff for the, the kids if you have kids, or even if you're an adult, they have certain things for you as well. The first item, which you can see in this photo, is play equipment for the kids. They have, you know, slides and all sorts of stuff that, you know, if they're, you know, want to blow some steam off, you can take them up here and they can play around. The other thing they have, which is, you know, at a lot of ballparks, is the, the miniature field. And it seems like every time I go to a game, there's tons of kids always around these little things. So it's always fun to see this. The next thing on the list is fun, even if you're an adult, that's they have an indoor batting cage. And from what I understand is, you know, a lot of people wait till they have two, three beers before they even think about coming up here and it makes it that much harder to hit the ball. And this is just showing what your view is from this area. So even if you're up here, you can still watch the game. You know, it's not like you just have to, you know, do rides and cool, you know, the game. You actually have a pretty decent view of the field, even though you're up here. The next area of the ballpark is right next to that sandlot area. It's also in kind of the upper deck area of left field, and it's kind of this restaurant area that has some good seating. And you know, if you want to get out of your seat, come up here. It seems like a good place to be. And this view is just overlooking that, kind of showing the different seating options you have if you're if you're going to be at that restaurant area. Another feature that comes to mind when I think about this ballpark is the center field area that's mostly just a large video board with not a lot of seating. One thing to note you can see here is maybe a little hard to tell from when you're watching TV or from other parts of the stadium, but you can actually walk behind the video board so you can go from left field to right field. This is just another view showing kind of, you know, if you were to walk behind that video board, what it looks like. 
Another item that people may not realize unless they actually go to the ballpark is there is seating on the left and the right side of the video board kind of tucked back behind it, which you can see here. And this is just another view showing the seating. You can clearly see it on the kind of the right side and the left side both. Something that I thought was kind of cool is behind that video board is they have a public gym. And when I went there, there's actually people working out, you know, so you don't have to be a member of the baseball team or anything like that. So they have a, a public gym attached to the stadium, which I thought was pretty interesting. The last thing to note about center field is they do have some seating kind of overhanging the center field fence, which was, was pretty cool to see. This is a view from those center field seats looking towards left field, kind of looking back towards the Sandlot area and that restaurant we were talking about earlier. Kind of reminds me of the Houston Astros Stadium. I think they have kind of a, a similar type thing kind of over their left center field wall as well. If you go to a game and you're over 21, one thing to check out would be the Four Peaks Draft Room. Uh, anybody can go to it, but it is very competitive to get into, so something you'd want to try hard to get into early. This is showing the Four Peaks draft room from the field. It's in right field, kind of mid midway up the seating. You can kind of see the Michelob Ultra sign there, just for reference. The other thing you can see here is the swimming pool. I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, and this is probably one of the most iconic parts of the whole stadium. And here we have it, the hot tub and the swimming pool located in the outfield of the stadium. You know, where else can you go hang out in a hot tub and watch a baseball game? When they put it in, people thought it was going to be a stupid idea, but it's been sold out every game since it opened. Walking around the suite level of the stadium, it's pretty standard for a modern ballpark, so nothing really special stands out here. I've watched a game from the suites of the Giants Oracle Park, and, and when I was in these suites, it, it just reminded me exactly of those, so nothing really fancy here. This is the view from those suites, and you can see here that you have basically two rows of seating, you know, so if you want to go out and sit in the seats while you're at the suites, you have that option. Something I noticed while walking around the stadium is it's, you know, it's one of the largest ones in Major League Baseball, and there's really no seating in the outfield, and with that, you can see in this photo is just how large and steep the upper deck of the stadium is, it's actually pretty impressive. This ballpark is home of the Arizona Diamondbacks, but just want to note a couple other things. You know, they have a lot of college bowl games that are hosted here, and they've also had the World Baseball Classic here a couple times. And when I showed up here, they had just finished having the World Baseball Classic here. There are other ballparks in Major League Baseball that have a retractable roof, but some of those, you know, they take 10, 15 minutes to open and close. The impressive thing about this ballpark is it only takes four and a half minutes to close the roof. I just want to take a second to mention something. I, I use ballpark and stadium kind of interchangeably, and I've had some messages, people saying, you know, it's a, it's a ballpark and not a stadium, and I get that. I'm kind of, when I say stadium, it's more kind of just that general phrase that I'm using for that instead of ballpark or stadium. Uh, now back to the tour. Uh, this is a picture of the concourse, and it's it's a pretty clean concourse. Nothing really special. You know, you can see the concrete with the steel framing above. So I think it looks pretty nice. This is where they interview the players after the game. And if you've seen my Philadelphia Eagles video on the Lincoln Financial Field, you can see where they you know talk to the players. And one thing that's really interesting is how much smaller this press room is than the NFL. And they said this is actually a lot more seating than normal. They had the World Baseball Classic here. So you know in reality, typical baseball game, there's only several rows of seats for Major League Baseball. So kind of interesting to compare the Major League Baseball and the NFL. I always find it interesting what building the material they use for a stadium. You know, some stadiums are only steel or concrete. This one's kind of a mix. It has kind of a concrete, you know, concrete columns and then kind of some steel trusses and stuff like that. So kind of a nice look to this one. And here's a good view showing that. You can see the concrete going up and then they have these steel truss framing coming off to support the seats. Something else to note that I, I didn't mention earlier, if you are trying to walk around the stadium, if you're on the upper decks, you can't walk all the way around the stadium. If you want to get past the video board, there's really only kind of one level you can do that, which, which can be kind of frustrating if you are seated up in the upper sections. This is a view of the tunnel where, you know, the players and people are that they're for the team. Uh, nothing really special about this, kind of typical for a, a modern ballpark. Something else I didn't realize about this stadium until I got there is, you know, center field is 413 feet and they have like a 25 foot tall field, um, fence in center. So I didn't realize how hard it was to hit a home run in center field. So kind of interesting.
this is the view behind home plate, kind of the press box area, and then you have the suites above that. So pre pretty standard for a modern ballpark. As you can see, when I went to the field, it was the 25th anniversary of Chase Field opening up, and where that sign is shown, that's kind of the rotunda that I showed off early in the video. And you can't see it here, but just left to this, of this photo is where the Caesar Sportsbooks is. And this is showing the Caesar Sportsbooks right next to the ballpark. You know, it has a bar in there, a restaurant, and people can actually go there and place bets. I think it was maybe the first place in the country you could actually do that at a ballpark. Every video, I like to throw in a photo of myself at the ballpark, just showing that I was actually there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Let me know what stadium you'd like me to do a video on next. And with that, take care and have a nice day.